Hello, welcome back to Green Hill Junction. So now that the baseboards are complete, um, moving on to preparing them for the track. And what I like to do is I like to lay cork over the boards um, as a base for basically everything else that goes on it. So I can actually remember how I did this the last time. So I've done two strips, one more successful than the other. This was the first strip, um, which I just basically put the glue down put it down and then weighed it down with canned food. Dog food comes in very handy for this, especially with the big six packs. Now, I don't know if it was the glue, it was maybe a wee bit old or maybe I just rushed it, but these dark patches here are actually bubbles that came up. And to be fair, I didn't really pay a lot of attention to it once I stuck it down. Um, so I had to cut into these bubbles and there's another one there and so I inject glue into it and then put weights on it to weigh it down and the problem with that is it's got a wee bit it's a wee bit of a bump going on there it's nothing hopefully that's going to cause me any issues but I just need to be aware of it when I'm laying track and see what I can do but I'm not I'm not scraping all that up and starting again for a few wee bubbles so this side I came up with a slightly better plan um, so same thing, I did get new glue for this, excuse the noise of the train going by, um, so this is brand new glue and it was thicker, um, possibly helped, but as you can see I'm just, I'm not doing it table by table, I'm just doing big strips because this is a permanent layout, so I'd rather have as few joins as possible, um, and you know what, see if it has to move, I've designed it so the lights can come off and I can find the edge of the tables easy enough and just cut the cork. The other thing I did before I actually um, put the cork down was I re-leveled the tables. So this one is totally flat now, whereas you remember there was a slight rise and I tried to sand it and it wasn't really working. Um, what has happened is there's still, still a rise there, but you know it's just that bit there so it's totally flat. There's not going to be any track there so that can get hidden by scenery and to be honest one of the reasons I weigh the cork is it's quite good at kind of evening out an uneven surface to a certain degree. So now back to laying this one, so yeah, when um, put all the glue down and then I decided to treat it a bit like wallpaper. So I got a rolling pin from the kitchen and once it was down just basically rolled it to roll the air bubbles out and got one big strip down. Still, I've just taken the, the weights off it this morning. I've got one bubble there, but I'm not going to do anything with that. Once, once something gets put over that, it should be fine. Um, but I think that worked much better. So, uh, and that's what I'm using. So I've got a big five litre tub of uh, PVA from a local DIY store, a paintbrush, and I got the cork from eBay. It was 35 pound for a 10 meter strip, it's 3 mil thick, 50 mil wide, um, so I should get most of this done, I might need to buy some more, but again I think that was the cheapest way of getting it, I know, like cork tiles were a lot more expensive, um, so I'll post a link for where I got the cork from, um, should any of you want to buy it as well. But what I'll do now is I'll um, put the camera on the tripod and I'll just show you me laying a strip of cork in a kind of time lapse hopefully. So.
Okay, so that's that stripped down. Hopefully that time lapse worked because I really don't want to play 10 minutes of me laying cork. Um, this glue does stick quite quick, um, so or it always gets tacky quite quick. So you can see I was pushing it up to try and make sure the joint's good. Now for weighing it down, um, what I'm finding is on the edges, it's best to use the heaviest things. So the dog food, or the six packs of the dog food. And then what I'll do is I'll periodically place cans on the edges and then the dog food at the end. Um, as you can see there's there's an overhang um, but I'll cut that off once it's dry, it's just easier that way. Um, and again overhang at the edges as well just so I get a nice crisp edge and as you saw in the video got a bit of a ratty edge in the cork when I folded it, it doesn't matter because the next strip will be starting overhung and that'll get cut off to a nice sharp edge. Um, so I'll just do another wee time lapse of me putting the weights on and that's that. Okay so that's the cork all weighted down. Um, just kind of place them periodically along and then use some heavier things. That's the old control panel, spare bits of wood, my drill and more bits of wood weighed down um, to kind of stop the bubbles going in the middle. One thing I would say is do not clamp any wood down um, because cork, I'm sure you're aware, is quite porous. So the amount of glue that's underneath, you clamp a bit of wood down, the, the glue will come through the cork, stick the wood to the cork, and then you're, you're um, stuck with a rather big problem. Um, so I just use these bigger offcuts, they're quite heavy in themselves, and lay them on top because what I've been finding is the bubbles are forming in the middle rather than the edges. Uh, this glue takes 24 hours to set. The last one I did that, and the other strip I did that yesterday afternoon. It's now in the morning, so it took a bit less than that, but it's quite warm just now. Uh, so what I'll do during the day is I'll just keep on popping up and down to the, the room, see if there's any bubbles forming, and if there is, just move a weight over the bubble, and that seems to work squeezing it out. Um, but so that's how I put the cork down. So over the next few days I'll continue doing this side, finishing it all off and then next thing we'll be uh, planning where the actual track goes. Um, so uh, get back to you soon uh, when we're doing that. Cheers! Okay so that's all the cork down. Um, took about a week, I had to buy another strip to finish it off, wait for it to be delivered. Um, Remember when I said earlier I wasn't going to take that uh, the first strip I did off? Well I did. Uh, I laid some track, but I didn't lay some track. I put some track on it and it was rocky road. Uh, very uneven and I just thought, you know what, that's going to cause me no end of hassle. So I got the old paint scraper out and just scraped it all up and put down a fresh bit using the technique I've just been showing you. Uh, as you can see, it is very flat very level. It's ideal for laying track so I'm really pleased that that technique's worked. And you can see I've started a wee bit of track planning with where the incline's gonna go. So um, we're kind of in the other room for other end of the room for where I usually film. So if you think this is going to be the station here so the incline will come out the station round and up to Round about there because I'm going to have the upper level eight and a half centimetres above the lower level. Um, so, but that'll be subject to the next video track planning because this has went on long enough. Um, but really pleased with the outcome. You know, really, really nice surface to work on now. Um, I think all the bubbles are gone. Even the bubble that was over here somewhere, I can't even find that now. Um, so yeah, great way to lay the cork. Um, so if you like what you've seen, you want to continue to follow the progress, please click uh, subscribe. If you like the video, click like. Leave any comments you want, I'll get back to you. Uh, and thanks very much for watching. And uh, speak to you again soon. Cheers. Bye.